Welcome to Garage Gym Athlete Cooldowns. These episodes are short, actionable podcasts pulled from previous interviews and content we've been publishing for the last several years. So go for a walk, hop on the rower, or clip into the bike for this cooldown episode. All right, man. So, so give me a little background on. Uh, you've been podcasting. You said for six years, which is crazy. You know that especially it was like that's before most people even knew what a podcast was. You know, so you you got into that. Uh, just just give me your whole background. I won't I won't steal any of your thunder here. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I started out as a wounded warrior. I had a lot of health problems. Just the, the more that I get interviewed, the further back I the timeline keeps going. I used to say when I was in business school, when I was in college, that my health problems occurred. But then I thought, you know what? My gut wasn't normal in my teenage years either. And then I thought, well, you know what? My skin and things like that weren't normal when I was a young kid either. So the timeline keeps getting pushed further back. But I had many health problems and went to conventional doctors and got pharmaceutical drugs written for me that I never took, you know, acid blocking medications and antispasmatic drugs and other pharmaceuticals designed to help with IBS, which is a generic diet diagnosis that means we have no idea what's wrong with your gut but something and we don't know how to help you besides give you these drugs and I inherently knew even at that stage that my problems weren't a deficiency of pharmaceuticals and so that's when I started studying nutritional therapy and I became what's called an NTP a nutritional therapy practitioner where basically you learn how to use food as medicine with people and you're creating certain dietary protocols to help mitigate certain health problems and then that got me like 80% of the way there to help my energy problems, my depression problems, my IBS that was all improved but I still had some issues and uh, my weight had dropped. I lost 20 pounds without trying and I didn't have much weight to lose. I was always pretty low body fat, pretty lean, and uh, lost a bunch of weight and couldn't figure out what was going on. Stress was a huge factor, by the way, and I had some internal stress going on. So then I found out I had parasite infections. I had H. pylori, which is a very common bacterial infection. I see it every single week in the clinic. In fact, just before you and I got on this podcast, I was speaking with a guy who showed up with an H. pylori infection. This is a bacteria that 50% or more of people in the U.S. have, and it damages these parietal cells in your gut. These are the cells that make stomach acid. So people with indigestion and burping and bloating and gas and heartburn and things like that, a lot of times it's a bacterial infection and acid-blocking drugs like what commonly get recommended, like what got recommended to me, they'll come in and suppress the symptom, but they don't fix the root cause. So long story short, I became a functional medicine practitioner, took a lot of advanced courses on uh, biochemistry and learning about the liver and kidneys and thyroid and all of the organs that are mainly dysfunctional in the modern world because of such a bad diet and poor stress and poor sleep and all of that. So found out I had all those gut bugs, used herbal medicine to treat all those infections, and then now I'm feeling better than ever, and I just can't even believe it. I'm so grateful for the journey I've been on because for me as a practitioner, it gives me, a, uh, I guess, a more empathetic approach. I can, I can say with confidence, look, I understand, and I don't just say that as someone to – I, I don't basically make things up when I tell people I understand, I know what you're going through because I did. I went through everything. So I think it's a cool perspective because now when somebody says, oh, my God, I'm just so tired. It's like, look, I was there. Oh, my God, look, my stomach, the pain. Look, I know I was there. So um, really, really interesting, right? It's like I never thought I'd be in this position, but – you just have to go with the flow, and, and that's what I did. And every time I got pushed in this direction, like to move to Texas or to move back to Kentucky, all these little nudges of the boat, I just followed where the boat was going, and that's kind of how I got here today. Awesome, man. Awesome story. I mean, a lot pops up for me here. Now, um, I want to talk about not just your own journey, but uh, now kind of move to – I mean, you've helped a ton of people. Uh, and I'd like to know if you could paint any sort of broad picture – a broad stroke here with, uh, you said like a, uh, I, I would anything that might be really common that you see with people that you're helping. You know your patients. Like what are they? Uh, what's a big ticket item you see a, a lot of the times? Yeah, good question. So the H. pylori is big. Like I said, that's a bacterial infection that often gets passed between spouses as well. So you know, kissing. Uh, sex, etc. You can pass bugs between each other. So it's very common that if we test the wife, you know, most of functional medicine is women because men don't like to admit that there's something wrong. <laughs> they like to just tough it out. 
and be a tough guy, it's like, stop, that's silly. Just you're a human. You can have health problems. But, you know, 80% of the practice is probably women because 20% of men are the only amount of men that fess up. Hey, I'm depressed. Hey, I have energy problems. Hey, my sex drive sucks. Hey, my sleep is affected. I've got insomnia. I've got energy problems. I've got bloating. I've got fingernail ridging, like ridges on your fingernails. If you've got lines on your fingernails that you can feel the texture of that tells you you've got malabsorption problems now the question is why could be that bacterial infection i spoke about but more commonly is a candida infection which is a yeast and there's about 20 different species of candida but candida is a yeast that grows in the presence of sugars and refined carbohydrates so of course the standard american diet is the perfect conducive diet to create a yeast overgrowth and that's where you eat a meal and you get bloated afterwards like you've got to pop open that top button on your pants that's probably candida now it could be other species of bacterial infections uh, for me it was parasites which sounds exotic but it's not i did not leave the country to get parasites the food supply is international. Think about your pineapple that comes from Costa Rica. Think about your organic blueberries that come from Peru. Think about your peas that come from Ireland. You know, there's many, many different uh, things that are international. So even if you're not an international traveler, the food supply is international. So you can pick up these bugs from basically anywhere. Uh, so I would say parasite infections. I've tested over 2,000 people. Parasite infections affect one out of every three. Bacterial infections affect two out of every three. Candida affects pretty much like 2.9 out of every three. I mean, if I see someone that doesn't have a yeast overgrowth, which is also commonly triggered by the use of antibiotics, because when you get an ear infection or you get a, a cold and the doctor passes out antibiotics like Skittles, guess what? When you destroy the whole microbiome, the first thing to come back into the neighborhood is candida. So literally almost Every single person I test with a urine test called organic acids testing, this measures the gases that candida produces. If I see someone without yeast, I'm like, wow, congratulations. What did you do? What's your secret? <laughs> That's awesome. And, and uh, how, how do you go about correcting, let's say, a candida issue? Because you're saying, what did you, what'd you say, 2.9 out of? 2.9 out of 3. So Basically, like I'm just everyone. Making up, yeah, like 97% <laughs> of people yeah. I test. Yeah. Yeah, good question. Well, it depends on what you're up against, right? And this is kind of my whole philosophy behind functional medicine is that you've got to test, don't guess. You know, there's a million podcasts and blogs and everyone's talking about this supplement and that supplement and this nutrient and turmeric and fish oil and probiotics and ketogenic this and blah, blah, blah. But it's like if you don't have a clear order of operations and a clear action plan, then you're just – you're throwing money down the drain and you're creating what I call a supplement graveyard. Many of you have it, so I know you're probably smirking here – that shelf or that cabinet full of stuff that you bought and maybe you're just not consistently using it, that's a supplement graveyard. <laughs> and and you can and you can prevent this. And how you prevent it is first you get the clinical data. So once you get the testing done, let's say you get a stool panel and a urine panel, let's say it's just candida, which is rare, but let's say it's just candida on its own, you could probably come in for six weeks and knock that out with a combination of olive leaf, oregano oil can be helpful caprylic acid which can come from like an mct oil or a coconut oil can be beneficial there's monolaurin extract which is a coconut oil extract those are all natural antifungal slash natural anti-yeast so if you did that and you did a particular species of probiotics called saccharomyces boulardii that's a specific strain of beneficial bacteria that can actually kill off candida and kill the toxins that it creates Typically, candida is going to be causing like bloating and food cravings, sugar cravings, also brain fog though. If your brain's just not working, that could also be a yeast overgrowth. But if you come in with these herbs, you do it strategically, and then you use the probiotics, you're going to be good to go. Thanks for listening to today's cool down. If for some ridiculous reason you are not subscribed to Garage Gym Athlete Programming, fix that problem right now. Go to garagegymathlete.com, sign up for a free trial, get started with us today. Thanks for listening.